Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming in today to talk to you about another Winnebago travel trailer. And boy, do they have this thing dialed in. They really know what the customers want in a smaller trailer. Now, this is the Micro Mini. It is the 1808 FBS. Now, for those of you that maybe were looking at the Winnie Drop, uh, the 170S, this one might give you the additional room, a little bit larger bed that you might have been looking for. Uh, also gives you a slide out, a bigger slide out, nicer dinette, so it gives you a few things. But if you are in the market for an RV, whether it be new or pre-owned, do yourself a favor and reach out to me. Let me see, let me see what I can help you with, and let me help you find that perfect camper for you. So just remember, the RV extraordinaire. Paul the Air Force guy. Let's get on to the outside of this particular unit. So when you're looking at the front, first thing you're going to notice is that you're going to think that you have 30 pound tanks. However, they give you a 30 pound tank cover uh, with 20 pound tanks. Now that gives you the ability, if you wish to, upgrade to uh, the larger tanks. Although the, the 20 pound tanks uh, seem um, quite popular because of the availability of those. Of course, there'll be a battery there as well. Um, also, you're gonna notice the rock guard. Looking down your door side of the camper, you're gonna notice, of course, the electric awning is gonna have an LED light, outside stereo speakers, gonna give you a place for to mount an outside TV if you wish. Um, on the back side, you're gonna notice you have a ladder. To get up on the roof spare tire, of course you have the bumper where you can hide the uh, sewer hose if, if you'd wish. And then of course on the off door side back around the back side, that is where you're going to have your sewer connection, outside shower, water hookup, black tank rinse on this, as well as cable or saddle. Now one thing you're going to notice on this particular one, this is 20 feet in length but you actually have two axles. So if you were looking at the Winnie Drop, you just weren't happy with that, that's 20 foot four inches, and you wanted to have dual axles with the 20 foot trailer, this could be it. By the way, I also, that pass-through storage up in front, it has an L, um, LP connection um, up in the front, so if you have a grill, works out real well for you. So as you see, as your doors on the back side of the awning, you're gonna have a fixed antenna. So as you come in the door, just kind of give you a look and see what you're going to be looking at here. So you see you have the dinette slide, your bed's up front. Right here as you come in, this is where you're going to have all your connections or your lights. You check your uh, levels here, turn your water heater on, it has both gas and electric, water pump, and of course it has a power switches for your slide out and for your awning. So it makes it quite nice. The dinette booth does break down to a bed. And it is a step up because this trailer is a little bit lower to the ground, and so you have the wheel well through there. You're going to notice you're going to have a couple drawers reaching under the bed there. And then, of course, up in the bed area, you're going to see that you have USB ports. You can just set something right on top of that uh, window valance there. And then, of course, you have storage back above there. And notice the windows on both sides, so you can have nice cross ventilation. Coming into the kitchen area here, of course, you're going to have your pantry. And look at how deep that pantry is. Standard refrigerator, RV refrigerator. And, of course, you do have centralized AC, which is plenty for a 20-foot uh, trailer. You see down below your refrigerator, that's where your breakers and fuses will be, as well as your heater. Nice drawers in the kitchen area. And these drawers, I mean, they do a nice job with the drawers. You can see the full extension drawer glides. You've got the oven with the cooktop vented to the outside, the microwave. You've got the nice sink. You have the window there. And then in the back area there, you're going to have this stereo. This nice thing with this new Jensen stereo. The speakers for outside and inside, you can adjust the volume for those independently, which makes it really uh, nice. And then, of course, you can see you have a nice big TV there. And then, of course, this is going to be storage in this area. So you see you have lots of good storage. I mean, they've thought things through here. And then in here is going to be the bathroom. 
Bathroom's gonna be kind of basically the same thing as what's in the 170S as far as amenities. You're gonna have the corner shower, of course with the curtain, power vent fan. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the reason for that power vent fan is you don't have to have a window open when you use it. Of course, good storage down below there, your sink, as well as the medicine cabinet and light. So that is the, the bathroom. Let me just give you one last pan through here. Not a lot to it, but I'll tell you, it's a great layout for a 20-footer. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The new floor plan by Micro Mini, well, it's a Micro Mini floor plan by Winnebago. It's the 1808 FBS. Full bed or front bed with a slide. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure that you reach out to me. All my information's down below. If you know if you're part of a camping group and you'd like to have somebody come and you know have a speech and uh, do or do a, some type of a seminar, by all means reach out to me. Check out my vlogs on Sundays. Twice a month I'm giving away items, free items, and all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, comment on my post. It's that simple. Got some a great giveaway this uh, this weekend. Uh, the winner's gonna be ha happy. Uh, last weekend uh, the, the uh, Jane was very tickled that she won the last one, and I'll be getting that out to her this week. So, but stay tuned. Got a lot more coming down the pipe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.